only information we have about drones is what the government tells us, which over and over again proves to be a lie. And the thing about whistleblowers is they're the only ones who can really tell you what's actually going on inside. I represent nearly a dozen whistleblowers from inside the drone program. And they have consistently, across the board, said that the targeting is not precise at all and that the number of civilian casualties is far underestimated by the U.S. Um, government and human rights organizations and journalistic organizations have always given out much higher numbers of civilian death. Uh, what role does the U.S. Justice and as an attorney currently play in protecting whistleblowers? They have these internal mechanisms, but too often they serve as a means of entrapment rather than protecting the whistleblower. Like in the case of Tom Drake, he went through every conceivable internal channel to blow the whistle. And not only did they fail to redress his concerns about government surveillance, they turned around and prosecuted him under the Espionage Act. And then they, the U.S. has a gall to say, Snowden should have gone through internal channels. Well, guess what? Edward Snowden has said very publicly that he watched closely the cases of two of my other clients, Tom Drake and Bill Binney, and saw how they were treated and made his decisions accordingly to go to the media. Obama, before his first election, he actually called whistleblowers, he addressed them as watchdogs of wrongdoing. What happened to his opinion since, since he was elected? You know, I think President Obama said what he needed to say to get elected, but he has led the worst campaign against whistleblowers since Nixon. And that's not just me saying that as a whistleblower advocate, that's the New York Times saying that. He's been the worst president for press freedom and for whistleblowers and for journalism. I don't see any change under, under Trump or Clinton. I just feel like we're in a different political time than we were back when the Nixon administration crashed and burned and he was impeached and there were all these reforms. We're in a very different time politically and we just don't have that revolutionary fervor um, that we had at that point. I'm talking to Rob Weinberg right now. He's a philosopher, founder and editor-in-chief of the Dutch newspaper The Correspondent.